All right, well, we'll try this in front of the green screen. Uh, I don't think it's actually going to be what I want it to be, but uh, that's all right. We just need to talk for a couple minutes. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the Alex Day Naked How to Get Views uh, video that Ben Cook put out last weekend. Uh, great video. If you haven't seen it, go check it. Uh, a lot of the meme stuff that he had put up, uh, I had never heard of. Per painting yourself purple and stuff like that. That's just for football games as far as I know. One of the ways to get more views is to put out uh, videos on a pretty consistent basis once a week. Stick to a schedule at least. If nothing else, it's good for you as a creator so that you can start to get into the habit of all right, today I need to do this, today I need to do this, today I need to do this. My channel is not a stellar uh, example of how to get views. Actually, I'm still working on the views part. This is all just theory, so, you know, take it or leave it. But what I see from a lot of big YouTubers is a consistent schedule, uh, something interesting that it works for them as well as for their audience. Um, there is a, a... Charlie is so cool, like, put up a video a few weeks ago at this point saying you know he was scared of lo losing his audience and there was a big bit of drama in the in the margins around that um, for I can't really give Charlie advice because I'm not in his position but don't worry about it just get out there and and do what you like to do and do it with the people that you like to do it with so uh, hang out have fun with your friends make sure that you're making videos that you like and eventually people who have the same taste as you will find what you're going for. Um, for my videos, uh, I'm trying to do a combination of things that I like to do plus things that are informative for people who might see it later on. Uh, so it's a little bit different, but I do stick to, if I'm not interested in it, I'm not gonna really talk much about it. Uh, being a vlogger in Japan, there's also a lot of people who are doing many similar things. Um, I'm not necessarily opposed to the idea of steel with both hands, right? So when you have an idea that you like and you see somebody else doing it, for example, take a look at uh, SXT Phil, right? Philly D. So if you wanted to do a video where you're talking about news for the first, you know, news that matters to you or news that you care about for uh, a little while, just to get yourself comfortable with uh, who you want to be on camera and, you know, what, how much of yourself you're going to project into it, uh, I think that's an okay thing to do. It kind of goes back to the idea that when, it, when students were learning from the great masters back in Italy during the Renaissance, they would copy the pictures that they would do. And now, and as by copying what they see people doing well, they get a much better idea of uh, what they like about the style and how to do that style. And then went eventually on to branch onto their own. Yeah, I don't have any names for you because I haven't actually studied art history. But the idea makes sense. Find something that you like to do, copy it until you do it well, and then find those pieces in it that you like and try your own thing from that. Yeah, you could do copying wholesale, but it's, that's not very interesting and it doesn't really tell you who you are. But using the idea of the same type of cuts and the same type of backgrounds and the same type of places, uh, is not a bad way to start. Um, so I'm looking forward to next week and seeing where Benjamin Cook is going with Ben Cook. Ben Cook is going with the uh, Becoming YouTube. I'm dying to know what's next. Uh, that was my idea about getting views and at least getting started. So um, tell me what you think. Comments below. Blah, 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 blah. Like you said. Cheers.